album, We Must Carry On. Forced to carry on alone, Rita has taken on the burden of running Marley's recording studio, Tough Gong, and fighting for his multi-million dollar estate. Although Bob has passed, Rita claims he lives on, and she pays tribute to him in an international concert tour this year. Bob Marley Day, I mean, this is a free struggle day. And a lady who knows a lot about struggle is here with us. Please welcome the queen of reggae, Rita Marley. How are you? Thank you. It's Good nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice being here. Yeah, been a long time. About yes. Almost, well, about almost 11 or 12, about 12 years. years. Yes, yes. <laughs> a long time. You look wonderful and things are going well Thanks. for you. Yes. This year marked the 10th anniversary mm -hmm. of Bob's death. And, you know, I'm sure that you look back on those years. But you say that he still talks to you. What does he tell you? A lot of things, Tanya. And um, I must um, make a correction. Mm -hmm. um, in the statement of Bob being dead, it, it's sort of not real to me mm -hmm. to accept that fact of, of the physical death. Even though we, we are not seeing him in the physical, mm -hmm. but we still have a relationship that still continues, and um, spiritually we communicate. Now, I know people are going, and I don't want to cut you off, but you say you still have a relationship with yes. this man who passed yes. away yes. Uh, in 1981, and a lot of people don't understand. What do you mean? I mean, do you talk to him? Oh, do you yes. feel that he talks to you through yes. other people, or how does that happen? How does this relationship continue well, on? Well, first of all, one has to have faith in, in, in the... The, the reality of reincarnation mm -hmm. and the reality of life after that. That is, even though the, f the flesh stands still and there's no breath in the body, but that, that life that God has given, which no one can take away, still exists. And um, if you put out that energy and that vibration, you find that you're able to communicate with people from generations. From generations. Yes. But do you talk to him? I mean, do you wake up in the morning and say, well, Bob, this is what oh, I'm doing yes. today? Hi, Bob. How are you today? Really? And uh, sometimes you get that feeling that even a touch, even a smell, sometimes a smell is in the air that you can say, yeah, I know you're here, hmm. you know? And in Jamaica, we have a thing where we have some things like bat mm -hmm. that we call like they say they use it for witchcraft, but sometimes they fly around. And um, it's a sign that when you see one comes into the house, it's um, someone that's a been spirit dead. Yes. of someone who's coming yes. in to, to check on you. Right, and we have that all the time. When you met Bob in the 60s, did you have any idea that this man was going to be so influential? No, not at all. How did you not meet? Well, it was through the media of music. You know, um, he had already been... Um, famous as a whalers, mm -hmm. the whaling whalers, and um, they lived in Trenchtown, where I lived at the time. And um, I was a teenager at the time, loved music, and um, was going through some training as a, as a nurse in Jamaica. But then music was my my main, your main thing. thing. Yes, and at that know? time, I mean, the reggae music was just coming to the forefront, coming out of what had well, been known as ska, I guess. Ska, yes. It was a ska hero, rock uh -huh. steady to ska. Mm -hmm. So we didn't even touch reggae yet by mm -hmm. then. You know, we were still into that era. Now, you were a singer, and, and I heard that Bob was going by your house one day, and you just mm -hmm. said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can <Come> sing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was just as, as easy as that. You know, and I said, I, I like you guys singing, and I can sing with you. Please listen to me one day. And uh, well, Bob was really sort of like, don't speak to women, don't speak to girls. Peter and Bonnie was more like the jovial type. Oh, Bob didn't want to speak no. to. Oh, he was too. Oh, what, what was he didn't? I'm surprised. <laughs> really? He was too serious. He was too serious very about serious the music. Very serious about his music and very into because he's such a great songwriter that yes, his, his, very his true. attention and time was mainly. About his so what music. was it about uh, Rita that really caught his eye and made him stop and not only stop but decide that you were going to be his, his wife? I don't know. I th his mother said, um, I've heard her say it in interviews, that he had told her, it's my walking. So I don't know. Your walk? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, little walk. He said, he, she said he told her, it's the way she walks, mommy. Mm. She walks and turn. So I said, oh, maybe it's my knock knees. That's doing that turn. <laughs> oh. Well, it was documented that Bob did believe in polygamy of, of sorts. And he had, what I believe, 11 children, five of which you shared together. As a young wife, how did you handle that? 
Well, as a young wife, I didn't have that problem because it really didn't start it in our earlier stage of, of mm. marriage. You mm -hmm. know, we got married in 1966. And at that point, we were like ordinary, normal people suffering in, in, in a society that was dominated by a certain class. So we were seen as the lower class of people. Mm -hmm. And um, it was... Um, it wasn't anything that was planned. It was just just was it the fame that, that drove all the women and the other women yes. to him really? Oh yes, that came with success, fame and money. Yes. And that's that's quite recent. Yes. yes. How did you handle it though? Well I, I don't know. I, I still I'm still dealing You're still with dealing it. Still dealing with still it. Still dealing with it. And um it's just something that I've sort of made up my mind as to loving this man and um whatever he loves or whatever he his beliefs are. I'm going to stick with it, hmm. you know, and so I find that even the children that's outside of the marriage, whenever he finds that this has happened, he would say, well, Rita, this girl is going to have a baby or there's a baby that I want you to, to look at. Because oh. I still have to give that thumbs up. You still have to give the approval. Yes. Yeah. You are a very special <laughs> woman, Rita. We, of course, know that. <laughs> We're going to take a break. More with Rita Marley right after this. Continuing with Rita Marley from Sunsplash, yes. the I3s are back together again. I'll tell yes. you, you ladies, first of all, you haven't changed very much at all. No. And you're, you're still out there cooking. Oh, still yes. out there cooking. Yes. We must carry on, Tanya. And um, it's with the determination and the willpower that, you know, because the, the missing Bob out of the musical scene mm -hmm. has left uh, a sort of frame that each time we go out and do the work that we usually do, yes. that, that frame is filled again. Yes. And it, it not only benefits us as a group and a family, but the world, I mean, people who come to the concerts, you can see in appreciation, they feel the vibration of Bob. You must have taken on, I mean, for you, it must be such a tremendous burden to try to continue this vision. You, you had once said that Bob was like a father to you. He protected you. Yeah. How did all of the people around him respond when all of a sudden he wasn't there and here you are and you had to take over? You took charge. Well, I, I and became, it's not the kind of society I know where women I are know. usually in that position. No, it was not accepted, especially in Jamaica where we have this um, man and woman situation mm -hmm. where the woman is seen as stay in the kitchen and, and have the babies sort of thing. So it was I became a target in, in a sense that everyone was now saying, what is she going to do and mm -hmm. how is she going to do what, you know? Well, you did quite well. There's now a national holiday yes. in honor of Bob yes. Marley. I believe there's a stamp yes. uh, in honor of Bob Marley. Yes, we have the museum. The a museum, museum, all of these things yes. in honor. Yeah. Do you feel that it was difficult to, to bring this legacy or keep this legacy going? It was and it still is, Tanya, in, in terms of um, the struggle is not over, you know. It's, it's one that Bob passed without making a will and mm -hmm. then there's a lot of legal litigation aspects, uh, mothers having different opinions. When you say the this. mothers, these are the mothers of the children? Yes. That, uh, yeah, so yes. tell me a little bit about that. Let's talk about that. What, what are we talking about in terms of the state, the estate? What is it worth at this point? Well, it's, as I always say, it's worth more than money. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's something that you can't say the value in, in coin or, or currency. It's something that, because I've been with Bob working for this, Effort, I know that it wasn't, we weren't working for money. It wasn't sitting down to write songs for but money. But the money came, the money and there came. was a lot of it after a while. A lot, yes. And so now who are you fighting to get what you feel is rightfully yours? Well, the fight is really among the administrators in terms of what decision is to be made and the, the court order as to when someone dies without making a will. The decision is mainly left to the it court. Could, because it goes into probate. Yes. Now, what about the other children's mothers? Are they involved with this as well, or is it primarily you yes. and your five children? Which no, because in Jamaica, the law is quite recently that they passed the law where children that's born out of wedlock is still seen and, and counted just as the ones that's in wedlock. Hmm. So everyone has an equal share hmm. in, the, in the assets. And then the majority, which is my children and myself, we are saying we would not like to 
sell any of this musical asset. We would love to maintain this right. and keep it in the and family. Keep it in the family. And then there are mothers who are saying, we have nothing to do with music. We want the money. So how are you going to resolve that, Rita? Oh, with the help of God. <laughs> You know, we're, we're working on it, and we have uh, people like Chris are you, Blackwell. Are you close to a resolution at this point? Yes. We, That's we good. Are, That's are. good. When Bob started out, he embraced the Rastafarian movement. Um, and just to, to clarify, it, is, is, is this a musical movement, is it a political movement, or is it a religious movement? It's a religious movement, mm -hmm. and it's only identifying oneself as an African with an heritage from biblical days. Um, as, as we see ourselves as the original people, the first people on earth were the black people, and we still maintain that level of, of standard by saying we want to go to Africa. Right. We believe our heritage is in Africa. When he mixed religion and music together, he was met with resistance. Uh, yes. There are stories, and I believe, if I'm correct, that you are today carrying a, a bullet wound yes. in your head from where you were shot, yeah. and he was shot. What yeah. happened? Well, that was mixing music and politics. That, that was political, you know, really political. Mm -hmm. And um, he was determined, even after that instance, that scene of shooting during the rehearsal. We still did the concert. You were shot, they, people came in, this was a, another political party. Mm -hmm. And what did they, they came, were they, I mean, was it like what we see in gangland style? Oh, what yes. happened? It was a serious one. This, this one scares. I mean, this one is like you see death looking at you and say, I'm here for you. And you're saying, that I'm innocent. You're rehearsing and yeah. somebody comes in and they try to blow you mm -hmm. away. They just came in and uh, Bob stopped the rehearsal to eat a piece of grapefruit. And while he was having the grapefruit, the guys came in and we heard shots firing. So I said, well, is this Christmas or what? Mm. What time of the year is this? Why are they firing crackers? And when, we, when I looked, this guy was going straight at Bob with the gun. And, and some of these were friends, too. It, it wasn't, mm. you know, this was paid, paid murder. So well, fortunately for all of us, they didn't murder Bob, nor yes. did they murder you, although yes. you were both hurt. Yeah. Did you think about stopping at that time? No, as a matter of fact, we became more forceful and determined to really continue because deep down within ourselves, we knew that our main purpose was for the people and the music. We had no political mm -hmm. idea or interference. So then it But you had a message, though. There was a message yes. to that music. I want to talk about that when we come back. Okay. More with Rita Marley right after. Oh, yeah, I could sit here and jam to that as we continue with Rita Marley, who just happens to be the mother of Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers. I'd like to congratulate you because, yes. boy, they're doing well. This yes. uh, Good Times is really climbing, climbing up the charts there. Yes. Proud mama? Very much so, Tanya. And they're hardworking children. So it, it's like, um, as Ziggy says, there are many forces who would not like to see our dreams come reality. Yes. And um, sometimes when I listen to their lyrics and their singing, it makes me want to cry to know that um, they're for real, you know? And um, what they're singing about is what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. Is it the same message? We were talking earlier about the message that, that your husband, yes. your late husband Bob, was trying to project to the world. First of all, briefly, what was that message? And do you see Ziggy and the Melody Makers singing about the same message, or mm -hmm. is it different today? Well, Bob's message um, still is. Uh, you know, I cannot see Bob being referred to in, in the past. Yes, you because, did say that. Yes. Because he's still very much yes, with you. You, you talk know, to him and, every day. Um, his lyrics, even in the nights, in the concerts, when I sing No Woman No Cry and, and songs from his catalog, it's like the people just love it, mm -hmm. you know? It's all about love and um, peace, unity, strength, you know, and um, living in the struggle and surviving. Yes. You know? D do you see Ziggy as being the next Bob Marley? Is there a next Bob Marley? No, there is not. I don't think there will be another Bob Marley, but there will be a Ziggy Marley, mm -hmm. for sure, in terms of Ziggy being independently with his brothers and sisters to do his job, their job. You know? what, right, whatever that is, carrying that yes. torch along. Yes. Well, you um, are doing your job again. Uh, we're really thankful that uh, you're back out there on the concert circuit. Yes. You've been 
touring all over the country and in fact doing embarking up on a world tour here. I heard though that the kids aren't really happy about you being out there. Is that true? No, that's very true. And I was really? so upset with Stephen. I called yesterday to talk to them in Jamaica and he wouldn't speak to me. He said, Mommy, you should be home. They won't speak no. to you? <laughs> what are you doing there? You should be home. So it's like they're not used to or they won't accept the fact that this is the mommy that sings with daddy for all these years. It's I like, was going to say, didn't they see all those <laughs> videotapes that I saw? <laughs> it's hard for them to accept that. But um, they're happy about that because they, they, they're looking forward to me being happy. Mm -hmm. And um, they know I've been going through a lot of hell, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, mommy, have fun. You know, don't, right. yes, don't do the books every day. Is it? Easier or harder? You've had a, a wealth of experience behind you, a lot of years of experience. Getting back out there, doing what you're doing on the road and the touring again, is it now less difficult for you or is it more difficult? It's less difficult because I'm, I'm back to having fun mm -hmm. on the road and um, it's back to feeling like there will always be music and there's nothing like music. And that's very true. You know, it's, it's a therapy that works for every, every human being. You know? You have a five year old too though. That's a yes. little different. Sarita. It's Sarita. Does Sarita yeah. get a chance to travel with mom? Yes, yeah, she does. She she was on tour with um Ziggy and them during the summer and she, she teaches them steps, dances and mm -hmm. she dictates to them as to what they should not do and what they can do. Right. You know? So she's a part of the team. She she fits in very well and she came in a time when I needed that internal assurance of hmm. you know that feeling of love and care that's been missing since Bob's departure and I'm saying well God if there's something that I need it's to have one more baby and you did and I did. do you think that Bob approved of that oh yes <laughs> you talked to him about oh, that yes I had did he pick the father for him <laughs> for Sarita <laughs> I think he did too I think he did because it, it's all a family affair okay you know? So it's someone that you've known for a long yes. time and you felt comfortable yes. with. Yes, nobody knew and um, someone who, sh who shares respect for Bob, you know. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear. Yes. Do you think that in talking to Bob, as you say you do regularly, mm -hmm. do you think that you talk about your direction of your life? Do you think he feels good about the direction of your life now? Well, not everything about it, you know, because... What wouldn't he feel good about right now? The estate problem that we're mm -hmm. having that is really... You know, and I consider the things that he said, like even the day of May 11 before he passed, he, there was a lawyer who works with us, mm -hmm. Diane. She was in the hospital, and he said to her, "No, if I don't make a will, what will happen?" And she said to him, "Well, it's like your wife and children will be the, the inheritance." And he says, "Well, that's okay." Okay. But thinking that that would he, be it. Right, you he know? didn't realize no. all the ramifications, no. as no. we often don't when we're that close to our next exactly. phase on exactly. the other side. Well, you're going to be fine, though. Yes. Yes, I'm Indeed. sure you will. Continuing with Rita Marley, we're talking about the studio, Tough Gong, down in Kingston, Jamaica, which I had yes. the pleasure of visiting a few years ago. Yes. And you were saying something about the studio? Yes, it's transformed into a Bob Marley Museum now. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's where the museum is. So yes. I'll come back to visit you soon. Please do. God bless you. Continued yes. success. Good luck with that. You Thank know, you. with the estate, I'm Thanks, sure it'll work Diane, out for yes. you. Okay, yes. you keep us informed. Yes, and we want to make sure that all the viewers um, look out for the pay-per-view okay. on the Reggae Sun Splash. Pay-per-view, Reggae Sun Splash. Yes. Be there. <laughs> God bless all of you. Bye-bye.